Hey guys, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Welcome back to my next video. This time, we're actually taking a look at the Porsche Design PD27S from AOC. And of, of course, there is the uh, interface itself. It is a little nipple at the back that you press down. Well, you press in more like. It's got all different types of features. I do like the look at this. It does say Aegon by AOC. It's got a number of different options. Game mode. It's got shadow control. Game color. It's got adaptive sync. Override. It's got low input lag. It's got a lot of... That's what it's like. I'm not a fan of that. But, I mean, there's a contrast. You can obviously do it all eco mode. And like that. Image setup. You can do HDR. It is HDR 400. But that isn't really HDR in my opinion. Uh, it's got low blue, uh, blue, uh, blue mode. It's got audio. The speakers are actually very good on this monitor. Uh, it's got light FX. That is for the uh, RGB at the back. It is a illumination of this RGB effect by there. And you can control it through the software. Uh, extras then is obviously the input select. There's uh, off timer. There's... Uh, DDC, CI, there's also then shows you the uh, the resolution, which at the moment is 2560 by 1440. And of course, then it's OSD. Obviously, the OSD just tells you transparency, it just gives you all the normal type features or the information about it. This is a collaboration with Porsche or Porsche, and this is a gaming as well as more of a aesthetic pleasing kind of mo gaming monitor it's 170 hertz it's uh, ips display it is 2560 by 1440 it's got hdi uh, hdmi it's got uh also wide view so the bevels obviously you can, can see the blacks on the screen I, honestly i wish this was a little bit smaller but other than that, it's just a bit of a nitpick. Uh, it comes with a 121, uh, 120 watt power adapter. It's got all the bells and whistles. It is purely for design, purely for looks. And if it's something you're looking for that's aesthetically gorgeous and something that's going to actually look beautiful on your, on your desk, then this is certainly something you guys should really consider. Now, obviously, it's got all the best features. It's got tons of USB. It's got display and everything. But it also has a RGB feature at the back, which I will be putting into the video for you guys to see. <laughs> Overall, the stand and the arm are very heavy, and obviously, it's going to be it's a very uh, design focused kind of monitor. Um, I'm not going to show you any gameplay because the view and angles of this monitor aren't the best. And obviously, you've seen a lot of my uh, gaming monitors, but what I want to do is actually go through a uh, a pixel count with you now as. Obviously, there is uh, the FPS counter, which I, if I remember correctly, is called... So, this is uh, UFO. It is specifically for doing a test on the frame rate. And the way it works is 36 hertz, but there you can see where it starts to jitter. Then 72 hertz is where it starts becoming a little bit more clearer. And then the highest then is obviously looks the best going across the screen. Overall, it's a very nice looking monitor. Uh, obviously, I, I really do love the design. The design is really nice. Overall, I mean, there's not much to hate except for the viewing angles. I don't really like the viewing angles. This is about a 440, 450 pound monitor. It is 27 inches. Personally, for 2560 by 1440, it's probably the best screen to go for. Any bigger, it starts to actually look a little bit more, well, worse. So, as you can see, it does the frame rate. I have played games in this. GTA, I've played uh, CSGO. I've played 
Uh, let's just say I've played a lot of games. I've played at least four or five different games. And overall, the the experience looks beautiful. It does really look nice. The IPS uh, display looks really nice. But overall, it's a post-designed monitor. I mean, what can you really get anything better? I mean, there is a version of this monitor that's a 32-inch monitor. And that's a 4K. That is like a £1,750 monitor. It is ridiculous for the price but overall the design is beautiful there is the RGB at the back it's very subtle it does come with a lot of different uh, things uh, the overall the the display by here you've got two display ports and two HDMI you've also got the power cable then you've got four USB ports and then obviously and you've got uh, the audio and as you can see it says Aegon by AOC does do swivel it does do rotate obviously it's not gonna really uh i mean i certainly wouldn't uh, put it like that but overall it's nice it's the stand more than anything the stand is like a really nice metal design it's quite heavy and it's bulky really nice obviously these little covers by here i will show you what this is headphone it's a headphone holder it's got two on each side so so you could just put place your monitor your headphones there it does clip in like that and that's what that's for because it's a sample but yeah that's the overall rgb ness by here i will i'll do a proper video of it and i'll make sure to place it inside the video overall it's a very nice looking demo uh gaming monitor and of course this is all about design and as far as i'm concerned you cannot go any worse than porsche so my thoughts, the design is absolutely stunning. I'm not a fan of the viewing angles. It does not look very nice at a certain angle. But overall, for a post-design monitor, my first one to look at, if you've got the money and you want a statement piece, then overall, this is it for the price. I would not personally recommend the 32-inch because that is an expensive monitor. It's nearly £2,000. But this one is more of an affordable option i mean it's uh 450 pound it is not if you are like a business person or someone who's got an office this will really look nice in your office space so basically my thoughts it's a statement piece and overall i think for the 440 to 450 pound mark i think it's got a lot of bells and whistles and you couldn't really do any better so Big thank you to AOC for sending this monitor out. This is probably the first one I've actually done with no gameplays. It's because I'm trying to change. I don't want to keep including gameplays because that doesn't generally give you guys the overall feel. And as far as that's concerned, I hope you all have a nice Christmas and a fantastic new year. This is Richard for Welsh Tech. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. Goodbye.